Okay, so we're going to talk about the attributes panel and some of the techniques I use for um, uh, for using blacks, um, rich blacks, um, when I need to control um, what I trap and, and how I manage colors and the way they um, print on a page. So, so let's talk about the attributes. So the attributes panel lives here. Um, it's from the, um, from the top menu on the Mac, uh, attributes. F11, if you still have an F key, if you've got a lovely touch bar, bad luck. Um, so, so then what we've got is, um, and what that does is it controls the overprint and, and if you've got a stroke on, and it controls the stroke. Um, so what that does is, if this is unchecked, it will knock out any other color behind it. Um, if it's set to overprint, uh, let's say here, this is set to do nothing. So whatever colors here will knock out anything behind it. If I click overprint, it will allow this to print and then this will be printed on, on top of it. So multiplying, so let's say that's 100% black, that's 100% cyan, it will be 200% of ink on top of each other. Um, so you yeah, um, just have to be careful with the amount of ink that you put on a page. Uh, you need to consult your printer um, with the maximum ink weights. But from an attributes point of view, um, I'm just gonna set that to not overprint uh, point of view, it is very handy when you're dealing with light fonts, or light type, or small type, because essentially what ha tends to happen is that, um, let's say for example, uh, it is a two color job, um, and even, yeah, sometimes they're the full color, but you know, I, I, there are rare printers these days that you know, will be very sloppy, um, but what tends to happen is that you know, on large type of um, you know, uh, flexographic or screen printing, you know, it can tend to slip. Um, so what you get is a slight um, white cast or um, misregistration. So it allows the white that's being knocked out by this, um, the black. Um, so what you want to do is set the text to overprint. So let's set that to overprint. Um, let's set that to knock out. Um, what are we gonna do here? Let's set that to overprint because we've just got this to knock anything out behind it. So, and then looking at overprint, you can have a bit of a play and I suggest that you know you, you draw all sorts of um, shapes. Um, so at the moment, I've just got a solid black um, set to overprint. Um, and then behind here, I've got a, a black with a bit of cyan, which is called uh, a rich black, um, which is a cool black. And then I've got a magenta set to overprint as well. And just want to see what it does to every element at different levels of, um, you know, uh, of this uh, uh, area. So, this um, overprint is set not to overprint. So whatever is going to happen is it's going to knock out anything behind it. This is overprint. So you'll see when I go to the overprint preview, you get to see what's happening. Um, you can see this 100% um, black is overprinting and you can see a slight cyan behind it this is actually a really nice technique if you want to create a whole pattern in in another color and then print black on top um, black's not always pure um, and that's why um, you tend to put another uh, cmy underneath it to give it a cool warm or you know the, the sort of yellowy brown sort of color but um, i always like to if i'm doing a, a small two color job and, and I've got this as part of my um, repertoire. Um, and you can see here is a cool black with 50% 50, 50 uh, cyan. So you can get to see that it's slightly bluer than that. And we can move just up to here actually. See, I've, I've set these up. So you can see each individual one of these black blocks is set with a different percentage of um, CMY and this one is straight black 
50% cyan, 50% magenta, 50% um, yellow. So that's going to be an interesting thing when we look at um, Acrobat, when we do a bit of a print production pre-flight, just to see what that looks like. Um, just wanted to touch on a last attribute. So what you've got here is a white logo, let's say, for example, you've uh, copy pasted it in from another piece of artwork that was black and you've converted it to white. On occasions, it's always been, you know, if, if you were doing a black logo um, over print and accidentally you forget to change this, um, it will disappear. So just be wary of any white elements that you bring in. But, you know, it means that you have to just double check when, you, when you're preparing the file to send out. So there are some insurances that you take, um, steps you take to, to make sure that that hasn't um, occurred. Now, trapping. Uh, I love trapping. It's one of my favorite um, exercises when I'm doing finished artwork. So, um, so let's look at when it's not um, overprint. So what you do is you can see here I've added um, a stroke, a really coarse stroke and then the same here. So where this is useful is the same issue when we don't overprint fine text. Um, so when you're printing a multicolored box with large flexographic um, pads or screen printing, the you know the tolerances of, of accuracy, you know, um, they can vary. So what you tend to do is you add, and this is something that you talk to the producer, um, the printer, um, is how much trapping or will you leave it to them to sort out so um, but I always like to have a look so you can see here when you do the overprint it's normal font but you know when you zoom in you can see let's just change that color and see whether we can actually see it a little bit better um, let's just go back to do that as a cyan I'm wondering can we see that in the background there mm. You can sort of see a slight cast in there um, that it's bleeding underneath the black and all the black is trapping the, the overprinted line. So if we go to have a look at um, a PDF, so you can see here I've opened up print production, uh, output preview, and the simulation um, is exactly as what is in um, Illustrator. So what I do like here is when I'm playing with the, with the different plates and I can see what's happening, you know. So if I switch off the black, you can see up at the top right here in um, the start of the, uh, the, where the overlap of the black and orange is occurring, you can see that it's overprinting and so is this, the fine text here. Um, and then you can see where I have not set um, trapping uh, overprint for for this text and again if we look up here there's 50% of these values sitting underneath the black it's pretty cool and you can see here as well what's what's occurring in those colors okay so I think that's um, pretty much covers um, over the attributes panel and overprinting and trapping um, it takes a bit of practice um, and look you know, you could um, try this out um, in this way. Sometimes if you've printed um, uh, or created a PDF ready for print, I sometimes like to, to place it in into uh, Photoshop to see whether anything is dropped off. So I'm still getting the same sort of values. If I um, go to the info, I get the dropper, you'll see that I'm still getting the same values, 50, 100, uh, 100 black, and that's 100 cyan and 100 black. Um, and you can, and it tells you, um, you've got 200% in this area, 200% of uh, ink. Um, yeah, so, oh, there's 50% there's cyan and when we put 50% or 100% uh, magenta, we're getting 250% of ink. Um, but yeah, um, so it's a bit of fun. Um, you can have a look and, uh, and and work out, you know, how how all the ink weights are, uh, are measuring up. Um, 
so yeah hopefully this short video was helpful um, add your comments below and let me know what you'd like to see next time bye for now